what can we do when we want to say no and end up saying yes? I'm Dorothea Hendricks. Today here with tip number two about helping you set your boundaries. The next time somebody comes to you and you already have a full, full work day, it's overflowing, and they come to you and they want you to pitch in, pick up, or top off something, stop. Pause. 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 Take a deep breath in through your nose, slowly counting to five, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale slowly through your mouth. And then turn to them, look them in the eye, and say as confidently as you can, mm, thank you for asking me. I'll check my schedule and I'll get back to you later. Or you could say, I'm fully booked. Sorry, can't do it. Or I've got lots on my plate. Or I have a full work day, maybe some other time. Whatever words you want to bring out to use, stick to them. Now, if our colleague has never ever heard us say no, they won't believe their ears and they will keep asking and asking and asking. After every ask, pause. This isn't a race, you don't have to jump in and answer right away. Pause. Take the breath in, take the breaths out, give yourself time and then turn to the person, look them in the eye and again with as much confidence as you can say, I'm fully booked. Sorry, maybe another time. Or I've got lots of work myself. I can't fit it into my schedule. Maybe another time. Stephen Covey said that we teach people to treat us by what we will allow. What will you allow? Practice, practice the pause. Practice the pause, breathe in, breathe out, give yourself time, visualize yourself, see yourself looking at the other person, look them in the eye, and then clearly and confidently say, sorry, I have lots of work right now, I can't help you, perhaps another time. Stay tuned for video tip number three coming up.